Okay, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Wednesday webinar. We are going to get started very soon here, but we're gonna give you a minute to jump on the line. As you're jumping on, please make sure to go ahead and uh, let us know where you're coming in from. So put it on the chat, let us know where you are. We would love to hear from you. Welcome everyone, welcome. Like I said, we're gonna get started in just a moment here. Um, and we'll get this thing kicked off. I'm excited about our guest speaker tonight. I have a few announcements to make, so a lot of good stuff happening here. Just about 30 more seconds here and we will get this started right away. Let me make sure we have everything set up. It looks like we do, which is great. Okay, welcome everyone. Don't forget, let us know where you're coming in from. Thanks for being on the call. Thanks for taking time out of your night. We know you guys are busy, uh, but we absolutely appreciate you. All right. Let's get this started. Okay. I want to welcome everyone to the Wednesday webinar. If this is your first time on the Wednesday webinar, welcome. We do this every single week. Um, and it is at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time every week. Now we do one week uh, business training, and then the other week we do a product training. So we go, we go, uh, we alternate on that. So put it in your schedule. If you want to continue learning, if you want to continue being on these events, uh, make sure that you uh, that you put that in your schedule. 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time every single Wednesday. Now before I, I introduce our guest, I want to just mention a couple of things. We're going to be talking about convention everything convention for the next two months because we are actually only 10 weeks away if you can believe it or not we're only 10 weeks away from convention so it is coming up it's in las vegas nevada we have so many exciting things planned for you i've said this on probably four or five calls but i'm going to say it again if you have been to a convention before with kayani i promise you this this convention will look and feel different than any convention you have been to in a very positive way. We're going to give you tools at the convention that you can walk away with knowing exactly what steps to take next. We're going to have workbooks at the event where you can actually write down all the information you need to write down and you can carry that with you. And then we're going to have a plan coming out of it that you can follow to be successful. So. That's just a piece, a small piece of what we're doing at convention, along with announcements about a lot of great things. So make sure you have your tickets uh, ready to go and your hotels. And that's what I want to talk about right now. If you book in our block of hotel rooms, not only are you going to get the best price on the strip, we've compared it. We've looked at other prices at hotels nearby that are within walking decent you know, reasonable walking distance. And we have the best price there within our Kayani room block block. So not only are you going to get the best price, but we are going to put your name in a drawing. If you book with us by the 10th, and this includes anyone who's already booked with us, but for those of you who haven't, if you if you book by the 10th of this month, we're going to put your name in a drawing and we're going to draw a winner who wins two tickets to the Beatles Love Show on the Strip Thursday night before the convention starts. So everyone who's booked within our hotel block by March 10th will be entered into that drawing to win a free show for two people on Thursday night at convention. So that's that. Um, also, registration is open. Make sure to register your ticket. This will get you through the check-in process at convention so much faster. All you have to do is go online, go to your back office, go to the events section, and it will say manage tickets. And right there, you can do it in just a couple of minutes and you can get your ticket registered. I'm asking you to please go in and register it. it will, I will promise you it will expedite your experience at the convention center. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is gala tickets. If you have not yet purchased your ticket to the gala, we now have single gala tickets available. Prior to this, we had gala tickets in packs with your convention ticket. 
But if you have previously bought a convention ticket, you can now buy a gala ticket separately so that you can get into the gala. And I'll tell you, we only have a few hundred seats remaining for that gala. So if you want to be there, make sure to get those tickets fast. All right. Now, with that, I think that's all the announcements I have. Um, I want to I want to introduce our guest speaker. I titled this uh, this webinar. Uh, I, I said on Facebook, are you struggling building your business in your cold market? Um, and I, wanna, I wanted to bring on this particular guest because she's done an absolutely incredible job of building in her cold market. Uh, she is not originally from the United States. She moved here um, and she's moved around the United States a little bit. She was most recently in Chicago and Nashville, uh, but she just moved to Miami. And so she is now opening yet another new market where she has to go out. She, she didn't, she knew just a few people in that market. She has to go out and meet people and that's not easy. Um, but I will tell you that she qualified for the AirPods, uh, our last promotion. And I know she's got her eye on the MacBook air and I'll tell you, she's tenacious. Um, she's powerful. She's, she's an incredible leader. She is a diamond with Kayani top producing diamond. And so I want to welcome to the call, Mrs. Maria Asensio. Wow, thank you so much, Mr. Skyler, for that amazing introduction. And what an honor, guys, to be here uh, just training you guys on this topic. And it's literally, I'm sitting here thinking how crazy it is that I'm training you guys on this topic because this is a topic that I struggle with so much mentally. And I literally would tell myself, Maria, the Maria six months ago would tell you, I'm really bad at cold recruiting. And if you guys think that right now, or if you're like recruiting is like my, the one thing that I need to work on really bad, drop a one, a number one in the chat, guys, if that's you right now, because that was me six months ago. I said, cold marketing, uh, -uh not for me. And recruiting in general actually wasn't for me. When I first came into Kayani, um, I got into the habit of recruiting a lot. And then I kind of went into management mode and I got out of it, guys. So um, I'm excited to train you guys about how I got back into that mindset and turn that on, guys. But uh, a little bit about me really quick. If we're complete strangers and if we've never met, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to meet you. And my name is Maria, Mr. Scholar Stephenson said, and I am originally from Guatemala. I moved here to the U.S. when I was uh, 11 years old. And I came here, I went to school, I got introduced to network marketing right before I got into medical school. I had never in my life done business. I had never in my, I was actually a very shy person, believe it or not. I was very shy. I wasn't really a people person and people have a hard time believing that now because I'm such a people person now, but it was a, a muscle that I built. And that's great news for everybody on this webinar because it doesn't matter if you're naturally good at talking to people or if you feel like you're naturally shy and that's not your comfort zone. The good news, guys, is that it's just like a muscle. The minute you decide that you want to change that, you can. And you can build that muscle just like any other muscle in your body if you work at it hard enough and if you're focused and if you want it bad enough, you can build it, guys. So, um, I'm going to get into it. Before I go into it, I do want to say thank you so much, Mr. Skyler, for the invitation. And I can tell you guys, I do come from a previous company before Kayani. And the corporate that we have here in Kayani is just absolutely incredible. The fact that we're able to even reach out to them is not something that you can see in any company. Not only being able to reach out to them, but have a relationship with them and have a friendship with them where they're willing to help us in any way that they can. It's just mind blowing to me how much this company does to us. So I'm very grateful for you, uh, Mr. Skylar Stephenson and everything that you've done for uh, not just this organ not just me, but this organization in general, guys. So let's get right into it. If you're ready, drop a two in the chat, guys, because we're about to go on it. I speak fast, I'm Latina, I spit some fire, I talk really fast, I talk really loud, but it's what I do and it's the way that I train guys in. What I get to do right now is I'm going to tell you guys really quick, a quick story. This was me five days ago. So you kind of get a perspective of where I am right now and the kind of things that I'm doing. I did move to Fort Lauderdale uh, three months ago, back in November. I don't know anybody here, uh, but one of, uh, I, I knew about five people here that were in my candy team is Michelle Rowe. Um, it's Mandy Madden, but she's actually about a couple hours away and a, a couple more people that I knew, but Personally, I didn't have any friends here and I moved to a city where I didn't know anybody and I did that on purpose because I knew that I needed to get out of my comfort zone for me to take my business to the next level. How many of you guys are at a point in your business where you're like, I want this to grow. I want to change my business, but you just don't know what to do or how to change it. And that was me. I said, I, I'm ready for the next 
step in my business. I'm ready to get and, you know, get out there and do something different. So I knew that I had to get out of my comfort zone. And I moved to a city where I didn't know anybody. The Maria that still thought she was shy. The Maria that thought that she wasn't good at recruiting. The Maria that was afraid to talk to cold marketed people moved to Fort Lauderdale to force myself to put myself into that mindset. And that's what I want to start off this training with, guys, is understanding that you have to get yourself in the right mindset because literally going out there and, and cold, we call it cold recruiting, right? But it's really just being friendly to people. <laughs> it's really just being a friend to people. And that's really all that we have to do, guys. But we get so caught up in our minds and we get so caught up in, in how we're going to feel in what they're going to say to us that we forget that we're just talking to other human beings like ourselves, guys. There's so many people out there that are literally going to bed every single night praying for an opportunity like Kayani, and we have that answer, right? So I want you guys to first of all understand, if you're taking notes, that it's all about setting up the right mindset in you. And if you're sitting on this webinar, if you're watching this webinar telling yourself, I'm not good at cold recruiting, that's my first tip of the night for you. You got to tell yourself that you are good at cold recruiting. You got to tell yourself that you are not shy. You got to tell yourself that you're not afraid to talk to strangers, right? Whether that's true or not right now, it's got to start. You got to start somewhere. And you got to start by speaking that out into the universe and literally telling yourself, saying it out loud, whether you believe it in your heart or not, just say it out loud. And the more you say it, the more your mind and your heart starts to believe it and it actually becomes true. So that's my tip number one. Say out loud that you're good at cold marketing. Say out loud that you love to talk to strangers. Say out loud that you can't wait to go out there and make a new friend today, right? And it's crazy what happens when you actually start saying these things out loud, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is it's not just enough to say it out loud, but find a DMO that works for you in the mornings, guys, to make sure that you do get yourself into the right mindset, right? Like for me, when I moved to Fort Lauderdale, I knew that I had to do a lot of changes. I knew that I had to prepare myself mentally every single morning to go out there and do the thing that was scariest to me, which was talk to strangers, right? So I learned how to, I even have a playlist in the morning that I play, you know, that I listen to music to get me into the right mindset. I tell myself my affirmations every single morning. Make sure that you have some sort of DMO, guys, because for things to change, you have to change. If you think that you're magically going to start just doing things differently by keeping things the same, it's just not going to work. Right? If you want your business to grow and you know that you have to do something different, change things around your daily method of operation. What are you doing every single day? How are you waking up in the mornings? Change that to set up your mindset the right way so you can go out there and actually do the things that you want to do for yourself, guys. So let me tell you a story. So I, the reason why I got out of recruiting and why I, I got, I, I lost that muscle when it came to cold marketing and recruiting people was because I actually was building Kayani with a business partner and he was extremely good at cold recruiting. He was extremely good at recruiting, period. And to be completely transparent with you guys right now, last year, I don't think I recruited a single person. And it's like, as I say that, I like, it makes me like cringe, but it's the truth. Because my business partner was in charge of that area per se. He was so good at it that he would naturally recruit one to two people every single month minimum, right? So he took care of that area and I would just take care of when people came in and took care of that area. So I lost that muscle. Now, recently, I got to build this business on my own. I got the opportunity to start building it by myself, guys. And one of the scariest things was like, oh my gosh, now I have to recruit. Now I have to go out there and do it on my own. And what I'll tell you guys right now is that the, the biggest tip for you to go out there and become a cold marketing monster and go out there and recruit people is to understand that it's all about having courage. I want you to write that word, circle it, put it in a whiteboard, put it in your dream board, whatever you have to do. It's all about having courage. And the great thing about courage, guys, is that anybody can do it if they want it bad enough. So I'm going to read two definitions for you about courage. The first one is courage is derived from Latin, meaning heart. To be courageous is to speak from the heart. Right, so when you're going out there being courageous, talking to people, guys, 
I love this definition because when it comes to talking about Kanyani, the problem is that we make it so logical. We make it so much about us and how we're going to feel and whether we're going to say the right things or not. Can we agree that Kanyani is literally the best thing out there, guys? We get the opportunity to build the life of our dreams. We get the opportunity to literally dream as big as you want to, to be able to wake up when you're done sleeping, not when the alarm goes off, to be able to help people become healthier. Guys, we have gold in our hands. And all it takes is you speaking from your heart and just telling people that we have the answer to their prayers. Everybody wants to be healthy. Everybody wants to make extra money, right? So be courageous talking to people and just speak from your heart. What does Kayani mean for you? Let people know what Kayani means for you and puppy. People will feel that, right? The second definition of, of courage is it's courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the judgment that something else is more important than fear. Oh, that's so good, guys. Let me read that again. Courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the judgment that something else is more important than fear. That's your why. Guys, when you go out there talking to people, you're focusing on fear. You're focusing on the wrong things. Wherever, wherever you put focus is what you, that what's going to grow. Focus on your why. Focus on why you started Kayani. Focus on why you want to build this business. Focus on what this business means to you. Focus on what it's going to look like when you reach diamond, blue diamond, green diamond. What does that mean for your family? And think about that moment right before you talk to that person. Think about that moment of you walk in the stage with your diamond sash, with your blue diamond sash, you retiring your spouse, you retiring your, 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 um, your, your wife, your husband. You've been able to retire your parents. Whatever that moment is, guys, that's what I want you to focus on. We all feel fear, but it's a matter of finding that one thing that's going to push you forward to go do it. So story number two, a couple days ago, I was literally driving and I told Mr. Scholar Stephenson this story. I was driving out of my apartment complex and I saw this FedEx truck <laughs> come right in front of me. And I've seen this guy come to our, my apartment complex a lot of times. And he always seems like he has a great personality. So this guy literally parks. And as he parks, he gets up and he starts like dancing salsa, which if you know, I love salsa. Mm -hmm. So he's dancing salsa and I'm like, that's my guy. I got to talk to that guy. How many of you guys, come on, drop a three in the comments. If you've ever seen somebody, a stranger, and you're like, oh my God, this person would be great at Kanyani, right? I know everyone's had this thought in their head at least once, right? And you're like, should I talk to them? Should I not talk to them? I was in that moment, but my window was very short because I was in my car driving. I saw him park. I saw him dance. And I'm like in the street, I'm like, Maria, you should peek him, you should peek him. And you know what? I just literally pulled to the side of the road. I got down, I literally put my car in the emergency lights on. I got down from the car and I literally ran to the FedEx truck. I, I peeked in the truck and I'm like, where is this guy? I couldn't see him. He was inside of the truck getting packages. And I literally was like, hey, I just started talking to him and I scared him because he obviously wasn't expecting a stranger to talk to him like he's getting packages and I just started talking to him I was like man I was like listen I was just I came out I saw you dancing and I always see you here you have a great personality is this all you do do you do this full time how do you love it where are you from like I just started asking him questions and he opened up he's like oh you know I'm from Venezuela Yes, I do this full time. I'm like, do you love it? He's like, well, no, you know, it pays the bills. It's what I do now. But and I'm like, well, listen, I love your personality. I'm actually working on a project where we help people be able to make extra money on the side. If you're open to it, I can teach you how to do it. I, I got to head out because obviously my car is like right there. I got to go. But send me your information. I can send you some more info. Guys, make it fun. It's all about meeting new people. And I literally got this information. He's going to jump on the grandma code. But it's that, it's that, that moment where your mind is like, should I do it? Should I not do it? You gotta learn how to silence that voice that's telling you not to do it and just go for it. Think about your why and remember that everybody feels fear. I felt fear. Like, I was like, I'm afraid to go. Like, I don't know this guy. For all you know, here I'd be like, you're a crazy woman. But I thought about that moment. I thought about my mom. I thought about what if, literally one of the things that I thought about guys is like, what if this guy is praying for something like Kayani every single night and I have the answer to his prayers? And because of my ego, I'm not going to change his life, right? And that's literally why I stopped. And I said, what if this guy is praying for Kanye just like I was four years ago? Guys, there are people, think about it. How much are you grateful for Kanye today? Where were you likely without Kanye today? 
desperate, maybe miserable, hating your job. Now there's hope. Candy brings hope to people. And our job is to do that for other people. But see, cold marketing becomes hard when you make it about you and not about other people. Our job is to just give it out to people and let them know we have gold. Whether they take it or not, it's up to them. See, it's like you're going up to, if I gave you $100 right now, and I said, listen, I want you to go to the mall. I'll give you, I gave you $100 bills. I, like, I want you to go to the mall and give a dollar to every stranger that you see. If you give a dollar to a stranger and they would be like, no, I don't want your dollar. And you would be like, you're crazy. I'm giving you free money. See, why would you not take it? And you wouldn't feel bad about it because they're crazy. You're giving them money and they're not taking it, right? See, the problem is that most people build Kayani the other way around. You feel like you're taking something from people. Guys, no, we're not taking anything from anybody. We are giving them something. Whether they take it or not, it's up to them. So what I want you to focus on is what if, what if you're that person that changes their life? Guys, the guy that called me and introduced me to network marketing, he changed my life. He doesn't even do network marketing anymore. But little does he know that I'm grateful for him every single day of my life. Because if it wasn't for him not prejudging me and not making it about him and just calling me, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't live in this amazing apartment. I wouldn't have the life that I was. But thank goodness, thank God that he had the courage to call me and not prejudge me. And he changed my life. There's a lot of people out there that you're going to change your life for, guys. So just remember that when you go out, you're, when you're out there cold marketing people, we're here to change lives. And you will be someone's here, I promise you guys. But you got to learn how to get out there and talk to people about it. So... A couple of technical tips, guys. Once you get your mindset ready, then it's all about making it fun. You got to remember, every time you go out there, make it a point to talk to everybody and everybody, not necessarily to pick them. Just open up conversations. If it leads towards picking them, great. If it doesn't, great. You just made a new friend. So just focus on making a new friend every day, not getting a new peak. Right? Because when you make it about, oh, I got to get him interested in Kayani, then you get nervous about it. But if you just focus on, hey, I'm going to make a new friend today, then it becomes easier. Your pipeline is always full. Number two, a couple of questions that I always ask people when I'm getting to know them, like my, my cashier or my Uber driver or um, my waitress. I actually just recorded a cold market uh, girl here in Florida. She's a J now. She's just got out of her 30, 31 days. She was my waitress at a restaurant. And I was just, I talked to her, guys. Talk to people. That's literally all it takes. Just talk to them. Ask them, where are you from? I always ask that question. So where are you originally from? Are you originally from Florida? And then they're getting, they, they will share with you their story, right? And then sometimes that story leads me to asking them more questions. If not, I'm like, well, do you do this full time? Is this all that you do? Do you go to school? Do you have two jobs? What else do you do? They tell me what they do. And then I ask them, so how do you love it? Do you love working here? Guys, most people say, no, but he pays the bills. Boom. If they say that, then I know that they're looking for something else, right? And that's a great opportunity to, to pick people. And I just let them know, hey, listen, I'm a, I have something that may or may not interest you, but I'm working on a project right now. This with health and wellness. It's ground floor. Nobody knows about it. It's absolutely changed my life. I would love to share more with you about it, but I know you're working, so... You know, we can exchange information. And I always do this when I'm about to head out of the Uber or head out of the restaurant. That way they're not asking me a million questions. I build rapport. I build a friendship. I build a relationship throughout the whole time that I'm with them. If I'm at a restaurant or at an Uber drive, uh, right? And then right before I leave, I, I pick them. I listen. It may or may not be for you, but I would love to share more information if you're looking to make an extra money on the side. And that's it. That's literally what we do. Um... Always make sure you get their information, not the other way around. Don't give them your number. They'll never call you guys. I promise you, people are busy. You always want to get their information. Either connect with them on Facebook, and I always send them a Facebook message, message right then and there. Hey, Maria from Uber. Hey, Maria from blah, 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 right? That way I can connect with them, and I can keep track of who I'm connecting with. Otherwise, I can, I can forget about them as well. So that's another tip for you guys. And, you know, the biggest thing when you're picking people out there is just become a person worth following. People don't follow companies, they follow people. Be happy, focus on the blessing of what Kayani is, focus on knowing that we're out, we're here to change lives guys and stop just making it about you and knowing that 
we have a responsibility to go out there and tell people that this world is not about working a nine to five for 40 years of your life to then retire on 40% of what you worked for. Guys, we are meant to do so many more things in life. And yes, you can have the life of your dreams if you're willing to work for it. And most people are willing to work for it like you. They just don't have the right vehicle. So just like you're grateful for Kayani and you're grateful that a person reached out to you, sure, you'll get some people to say no. Sure, you'll get some people that'll be negative. Sure, you'll get some people that are going to be skeptical. But for every one person that's skeptical, there's nine people that will be grateful for this opportunity. The problem is that us as human beings, we like to always focus on that one negative person, guys, versus focusing on the positive, on the people that we're changing lives with, guys. And whether they want to do the business or not, everybody either wants to make extra money or become healthier, guys. And that's literally all that I did for me. The biggest thing was, it was just a mental shift where I said, I have to make this happen. Kanyani is my answer. And I know Kanyani is great. The problem is that I'm making it about me, not about the kind of change that I can make in the world and how many lives I can change, guys. So hopefully that gave you guys a little bit of uh, insight of how I've been doing, what I've been doing, and a couple of tips on how you can go out there and cold recruit market people a lot better. So remember, Make sure your mindset's right. Remember, it's all about being courageous, and courageous is not a lack of fear, but just knowing that there's something bigger, more important than fear, which is your why, to make it happen. And I hope that everybody can go out there, call recruit everybody that you can, and make it happen for you and your family, you guys. So thank you so much, Mr. Skyler Stephens, for having me out here. And um, I love you guys. Can't wait to see you at ILA. And now, um, have a great night. Wow. That was, <laughs> she said at the beginning, I'm, I'm going to spit some fire. Um, <laughs> she did. It, it, <laughs> it was fast. It was, it was great, great information. So if you were trying to write notes, I hope you kept up. Um, but obviously, uh, it was fantastic information. We appreciate you, Mrs. Maria Asensio. We appreciate uh, all the passion that you brought to the call. You can feel it. You can feel her excitement. Um, and that's why she's been so successful in these last few months at, at uh, introducing new people and bringing on new customers, new business partners. So thank you again, Maria, for your time. Thank you everyone for being on this call, taking your time out of your night. We know that you could be elsewhere and you're choosing to invest in yourself. And that goes a long way. And I hope that everybody on this call has their convention tickets. And I hope that we will see you all in May. I know I will see Mrs. Maria Asensio. Uh, and so we will see you all very soon. Have a great night, everyone.